Good walks, one, up and down the Avon from Garrow Bridge. And here is Garrow Bridge. Go over the bridge, follow the road around to the right, and after about 50 metres or so, you come to this farm. Go right past the cottages, along this lane, and you'll come very quickly to a rather muddy bit. Swing round to the right and to the left, and you'll have this field on your left. Depending on that water height, depends at which point you can get close to the river. When the water is low, you can get very close to the weir itself. And it can be very dramatic, as the water plunges over the stones and then further downstream. From the weir you can walk upstream and there are several small streams which actually flow into the Avon at this point. Here's the path looking quite beautiful in the autumn leaves. There are bridge supports here and there which supported the old Great Western Railway. Here's another one. The Great Western Railway was very popular until Mr Beeching or Dr Beeching shut it down in the 1960s. You can follow the path along here, which does get rather muddy from time to time. Here's the river in flood, and there are many fallen trees across the river which make it look rather interesting and picturesque. The path follows the river and then starts to go up past this fallen tree through another muddy bit and then over where there would have been a fence at one time it goes up and then down to this little stream and then here's another very muddy bit where it's best to go around to the left so you can walk on the grass and then the path goes back down towards the river and remains with the river for a while. From this point on, the path goes upwards and away from the river. You go up and up until you finally come to this stile. When you get to the stile, turn right onto the road and go downhill until you come to this cottage and keep on going, follow the road. You'll find this sign. Keep going straight on towards North Huish, over this small bridge. Until you reach this junction, go right over the old railway bridge. Swing round to the right and come down again and you come to the Bickham Bridge. And Bickham Bridge is really quite picturesque lovely old stone bridge made in the old style. From Bickham Bridge go towards this village here and when you see this house in front of you turn right and it's a steep hill up towards Broadley. There are fields on the right and on the left And eventually it comes down to Broadley itself. This is Broadley Farm. Go through the farm and carry on along this path until you reach this stream that goes under the path 
and this is a good point to turn off the path towards the river again. Now this shows actually walking along the old route of the railway line. This is usually the driest route and when the river is in flood and de it is definitely the best way to go. Here is the bridge that we saw whilst we were walking the other way. Then you get to a point where you really can't follow the river anymore, you have to go up. Up this small path here which joins the bridle path at the top. Here it is. You keep on walking along this, up and up, and you'll see the weir on the right hand side from quite a good height. Carry on along this path and eventually you come back to these cottages here. It's okay, you can walk through the yard, it's a public footpath. This footpath takes you back onto the road, to this cottage here. And if you turn right, it'll take you back to the Garrow Bridge again. 